This is Jim Todd with Video Surgeon and I want to take just a couple of minutes today to give you a brief update on the status of Video Surgeon version 2. And let me say at the outset for everyone that we intend going forward to develop both the Mac version and the Windows version at the same time. So this is an update for both Mac and Windows users. We have been trying to accomplish three main things with this new version. Uh, one is to be able to slow down past 50 percent, meaning 40, 30, 20 percent. Number two is to be able to get the audio and the video perfectly synchronized. And number three is to have high quality audio when we slow it down to those very slow levels or those very extreme tempo changes. And at this point, we think we've accomplished about one and a half of those. Clearly, we can slow down, and I'm going to demonstrate that to you today. We still have some synchronization issues, but we have a good idea on how we're going to solve those. And we also um, believe we know how we can handle the audio issues so we have high quality audio when it's all said and done. Um, so those are the three tasks that we've been trying to accomplish and let me just show you then where we are with slowdown. So I'm going to play a video here and I'll keep in mind I'm taking a video of a video meaning there's a video playing on my screen and I'm going to take a video of it and that's what you're watching as you listen to me here. So I'm not certain that this will be crystal clear but you'll certainly get the idea. So here we go. We're playing at normal speed. Okay, so I'm going to now slow it down to 50%. Your is rich. Okay, and now we're going to slow it down three times, which would be 33%. I'm not going to go through all of these, but as you can see, we have 50%. A three times slowdown is 33, four times it'd be 25, five would be down to 20% of the original temple. Let me just do four, which would be 25% of the original temple here. Now one of the things that I really like as I watch this is that we are down at a speed now at 25% where you can indeed see the finger as he plucks or strums a specific string. It's not going so fast that you might have a question. You can actually see in this case um, you can see his thumb move and strike this <clears throat> first string here up at the top and it's doing it at a tempo that is slow enough that you can indeed see that individual stroke and I think that's important for anyone that's using this whether you're a musician or whether you're in sports or you know whether you're teaching something else because you need to be able to slow this down to the point that you can see what you need to see and I'm confident that now that we're able to get below 50 percent 40 30 20 percent that you'll be able to do that so this is the first big step that we've been able to ground truth it's pretty much done this piece of it and as I say we've got to work on the synchronization and then we've got to implement this concept that we have for giving us high quality audio so you can match the audio and the video together with good high quality stuff that you can both see as well as hear so that's really it I just wanted to give you this really brief update on what's going on I know it's been a while since you've heard from us um, trust me, we've been working really hard on this new version. We're still quite a ways away, but it, you know these big three items, we think we have a good fix on, and we're going to be able to bring those to you in version two, and we're really excited about that. So that's all for today. Thanks for your time. Bye.